starting from the top. Studio Pro 10.13 is out with Maya domain model generation, push notifications and progressive web apps, image generation with Bedrock and OpenAI, and more. Let's dive in. Join me in welcoming four brand new MVPs to the MVP program. Jan Schneider, Micha Friede, Bartos Hetmanski, and Mitchell Moll have been awarded the most valuable professional status. They prove that they have what it takes to join this elite group of the best Menix professionals in the world during their candidacy. They each contribute to the growth and the success of the Menix community by giving training, organizing meetups, and creating quality content to help people take their Mendix skills to the next level. We're very excited to continue this collaboration and support their initiatives. Go to mendix.com MVP program to learn more about the MVP program and how you can become an MVP candidate. We're extending Maya with support for domain model generation. You can enable this feature by going to edit, preference, and then the new features tab in Studio Pro. After you enable this experimental feature, you'll see a new button called Generate Domain Model in an empty domain model. When you click it, a chat pane will open up where you can tell Maya what your domain model should look like. And this can be very detailed. For example, create an entity, which is called car model, with attributes color and build year. Or it can be very generic, like I need a domain model for an hour registration application. With this first release, you can generate the skeleton for a new domain model, which you can then refine and complete. This should save you considerable time with setting up a new domain model. But it will also help you consider the correct entities for your application. Stay tuned for future updates. Last month, we introduced a unified way of text generation and chat completions with OpenAI's GPT and Bedrock's Anthropic Claude and Amazon Titan models. We've now introduced the same for image generation. You can now switch between Dolly 2 and 3 in the OpenAI connector and Amazon Titan image generation in the Bedrock connector to easily compare the different generated images. Check out the OpenAI Showcase application for an example implementation. Push notifications are a highly sought after feature in mobile applications because they offer a direct line of communication with your audience. Thanks to Menix's push notifications connector, integrating push notifications into native mobile apps has been a breeze, but were unavailable for progressive web apps until now. Push notifications are now available for progressive web apps as well. The setup process is the same as for native mobile apps, so you'll have a smooth and familiar experience if you're already familiar with the process. Visit our documentation for a comprehensive guide. The new web-based push notifications work in progressive web apps on both iOS and Android devices, and the module is compatible with Mendix 9.24 and up. Pipelines powers platform-native low-code CI-CD to help you automate packaging and deployment of software without DevOps know-how. We've got some cool new capabilities for you and I'll show them with a demo. I'll create a CI-CD setup where upon commit to the mainline branch, it will build and deploy to a test environment. After testing, the package will be promoted to the production environment. Let's design the first pipeline to build and deploy to the test environment. We'll start with a template pipeline because it does exactly what we need it to do. The steps make sense. The pipeline is now set to start on a push to the mainline. Now let's check out code from the main branch. Then build a deployment package and publish it. And lastly, deploy this package to the test environment. And that's it. Let's activate this pipeline. And now we'll set up the promotion pipeline. We'll click design a pipeline and start with an empty template. Production deployments typically happen after some approvals, so let's trigger this pipeline manually. Before promoting from test to production, it's a good idea to make a backup. Let's first stop the production environment, then make it backup, and then promote the package from test to production. And that's it. Activate the pipeline and you're done. Let's see it in action. We'll click on the Run Manual Pipeline button to trigger it. Now you can see that a pipeline is running. After a few minutes, the pipeline run is done. You can look at the logs for more details. Don't you love some good old automation? Try it out yourself by going to the pipelines page for your app in the Menix portal. We've just released a new version of the Data Grid 2 widget that improves the Excel export functionality. 
Previously, when exporting data grid columns with custom content, it would default to exporting the value NA. Based on a suggestion on the idea forum, we've added the option to set an export value specifically for custom content values. This allows users to define a dynamic text value that accurately represents the data when exported. This removes the previous limitations and makes for a smooth export process. Users can now even leave the export value empty and prevent the export of unnecessary data. Thank you, Bart Reiserhoven, for suggesting this idea on the Idea Forum. And that's it for this video. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on minix.com blog, or read the release notes on docs.minix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.13 at marketplace.minix.com to use all these new features right now. If you like these videos and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to get all the notifications. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.